Hello everybody, it's Brian here with Explosive Review and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial for you on how to size match your paint to your barrel. Um, obviously for this you need a barrel kit to be able to do it. This is just sort of a follow-up to the video that I did on what barrel to buy. Size matching your paint has lots of benefits like I said in that video. Uh, go check it out if you want to see but Basically what I said was, uh, in a pump gun, it's going to stop your paintballs from having rollouts because when you pump it, it's going to push that paintball into the barrel and unless you have a size, size match, it's going to roll out. As well, you get benefits with efficiency and consistency of velocity. So what, what do I mean by rollouts? What I mean is that if you have the wrong size sizer, and what I mean by that is this little piece which goes inside and controls uh, a, a diameter, so how wide it is, because paint will vary. Uh, a paintball on one day might be larger than a paintball on another, depends on manufacturer and a, a lot of other factors. So what I mean by rollouts, and if it's overboard, that if you put the paintball in there, it's simply going to roll right through to the other side. So you can imagine if I've just pumped my gun, it's sitting in there, and I point my barrel down, well, there goes my paintball, it's no longer in the chamber, so it can just roll right through. So what we want to do is we want to find one that is going to just hold that paintball in there so that it doesn't fall out, but not so tightly that you risk breaking the ball. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove our sizer. This one is the biggest one in the kit that I have. It's a uh, 693. Um, obviously paintballs are 68 caliber, but they vary, go up and down from that 68 as an average. So we're going to look for one that is a little bit smaller here. Let me just grab a bunch. Alright, so here's a little selection here uh, of different sizers, and these ones do it by color. So we just had this one, which is the 693. It was too big, so we'll set that off. And so we're going to look for the next one. So this is a 691. So as you can see, this one is still significantly too big. So then we'll go down to the next one. This is a 687. So you can see it might hold it a little bit, but not really enough. To, to do anything, it'll it'll probably still roll out depending on uh, whether you have a smaller, less swollen paintball. So we're gonna go to our next size. This is a 684, and it's still it's still pretty loose. I feel like I can still tap that out of there. So this one's getting there. It's almost there. It's just it's just a little bit too loose. So now let's go to a 682. I think that's probably going to be just about right. Oh, maybe not. This one, this one even still is a little bit big. Let's just try. Yeah, there we go. So th this is the kind of fit that you want, um, where it's going to be just sitting in there, and you should be able to, if you put it to your mouth and blow, you should be able to pop it out easily but it should not roll freely. It should sit in there, and you should be able to shake it around, and it's not going to fall out. So that is what you want for the correct size match. Now let's talk about uh, underboring, which is going too small. Um, generally, I don't recommend this. I've actually had times where I've tried underboring too far, and actually ended up pumping, and, and it causes the paintball to actually break inside of the barrel. And the way that you check to see if the paintball is, is too uh, large for the size, it's going to feel quite tight in there. And generally when you blow, you're not going to be able to easily pop it out. So if you can't easily pop it out, that means that your sizer is too small. And you actually have to use a squeegee usually to push it through. Um, so you want it just to be barely holding that paintball in there. Enough that if you shake it, it won't fall out but if you blow on it that you can easily you know send it flying across the room so that is the correct way uh, to size for paint and generally I recommend taking a, a few paintballs out of the bag trying it until you find one that's going to hold uh, all of them uh, it doesn't matter I mean you might have one that's just an off size but more or less that is how you correctly uh, bore match your paint that you're using that day to your barrel Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. This has been an explosive review.